I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you. I'm here to represent my team, which is Delta Robotic 4 from Indonesia, whose members are Muhammad Octariano Ramadan, which me of course, and my partner Jamal Dwi Atmajaya, or you just call him Jamal. We're also known as Participant ID 3005 which participating in the Co-Space Grand Prix Challenge U19 category. The fun fact is, we started doing robotics together in June this year. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not joking, but that's the truth. You can see in this one that we both competed in the same event but in different categories. Well, anyway, I guess you guys already know us very, very well. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first one is about the problems we have investigated among others. First, statement on the program. Second, Program sensor for line, every single of the detour markers and stuff. Third is advanced code for dust value. And the last one is the most annoying thing, is the fifth one, the robot plus control while changing line. Then, the methods. So, considering all the possible methods, we finally found four methods that we thought worked. One is using priority principles. The point is to put a sequence of comments in the program so that they are aligned with the path on the map that you want to pass. For example, suppose we want the robot to reach a waypoint, but to get it there, we have to go through several paths, so we make a comment. For example, for a white line sensor, it makes the robot run straight, then we have to turn, then the program sensor to detect the data markers to turn, so that got to the waypoint. It's easier, like when we edit photos in Photoshop with stake edits, so the first or bottom edits are displayed first, more or less like that. 2. Increase the details of the advanced program. That is by analyzing all the possibilities on the map to find the fastest road so that it is more efficient to reach the waypoint. 3. Try as much as possible for existing algorithms. 4. Reset the program regularly. Um, we think these two things are related because after we try the algorithm that has been created, the robot needs to be run. If on the way you experience the problems, this is where the repetition occurs to reset the algorithm. The next one, we got the result and conclusion. We're grateful because from making a program with several methods that we have thought carefully, it finally works according to our expectations. Yes, even though it requires considerable effort and patience from trying all the possibilities that exist so that the best result can be obtained. The good news is thank God. For yesterday's preliminary result, we reached the finish in 1 minute 32 seconds. It was a relief that we saw it. Alhamdulillah. Mission. Broadly speaking, in this mission, we are assigned to reach the waypoints area to the finish in the fastest time possible of the maximum time limit of 
8 minutes by utilizing several objects that are around so that it helps the programming process on the robot to make it easier and more effective to achieve goals. To complete the mission intelligently, then of course we divide it into many tasks with a combination of several of the above methods such as for its data markers which we really use as much as possible for the robot to turn and change lanes so as to make the road shorter to the destination. Likewise, for every detail on the common in the advanced code to minimize the occurrence of program malfunctions, which reduce the possibility of repeating each algorithm. For more details, this is it. AI algorithms. To get to know more about algorithms, here are some examples that we introduce. Types of algorithms 1. Divide and conquer 2. Dynamic programming 3. Serakah method 4. Flowchart system 5. Soda code Tools and resources This program uses Microsoft Robotics Dev Studio 4 and RCAP Cospace Grand Prix 2020 platform. The robot used is a virtual robot using artificial intelligence, so the robot can move randomly according to area condition. The advantage that I get, oh, I'm sorry, we get actually by using Microsoft Robotics, Robotics 4 and artificial intelligence uh, are. I don't need to prepare a match area by a robot and then how to charge the battery. So the code and for charge system. For you guys, uh, if you want to know more of, about detailed information, look at this one. Debugging. Fortunately, a robot can run according to the program that we have created. Even though for several times we have to revise the existing program from the problems at hand for the solution, go back to the various methods previously mentioned. For example, if the sensor detects a line it follows, it will follow the line, then if it meets the data markers. It will turn according to orders. The ultrasonic sensor is used when passing the walled road. Then, when it arrives at each waypoint, the robot will stop for 120 milliseconds. Final conclusion. First, fortunately, a robot can run according to the program that we have created. Even though for several times we have to reverse the existing program for the problem at hand. Second, so considering all the possible methods, we finally found a method that we thought worked, which is using priority principle, increase the details of the advanced program, try as much as possible for existing algorithm, and the last one course I reset the program regularly. Third, if I'm um, asked to complete the same challenge again, then I make a program based, based on where the checkpoints are so as to maximize to find the fastest route and try to find the alternative route. So guys, those are just a few things I can share for our impressions as a beginner in this competition. It's quite fun and challenging because we're the one who also likes the challenge. Many things we can share and we can learn from this competition, especially is in learning robotics. Then we we'll also say a massive thank you to the Cospace Virtual Robot 2020 for choosing us as the one of the finalists for choosing us as one of the finalists to represent Indonesia, of course. We're very grateful 
and happy to be part of the Co-Space Virtual RoboCop 2020 Standard Family, hopefully the knowledge that we can be useful for me, for us, and others in it. Hashtag Virtual Co-Space RoboCop 2020. Terima kasih. Thank you. Bye-bye.